नमस्कार रिग्रेशन वन मोर केस एंड इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन को रिलेशन एंड रिग्रेशन द केस इज फॉर द फॉलोइंग डेटा प्रूव दैट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन इज द जियोमेट्रिक मीन ऑफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ रिग्रेशन इट इज नॉन दैट एक्स बार इक्वल्स टू वाई बार दिस इज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा ओनली दिस कैन नेवर बी द परमानेंट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू वेरिएबल्स बट दिस विल बी यूजफुल इन सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज एक्स सेवन फोर एट सिक्स एंड क्वेश्चन मार्क दैट मीन्स फिफ्थ वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल एक्स इज मिसिंग फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट वैल्यू वाई इज सिक्स फाइव नाइन एट एंड टू टू फाइंड दिस मिसिंग वैल्यू वी कैन यूज दिस रिलेशनशिप एक्स बार इक्वल्स टू वाई बार and in case of correlation and regression and for both the variables number of observations in case of both the variables are always same since n of x equals to n of y that is permanently same in case of correlation and regression and x bar equals to y bar then sigma x must be equal to sigma y so if we can find out sigma y we can find out sigma x and then as a uh, then the fifth missing value how can we find sigma y it is very easy since y bar equals to sigma y by n so y bar into n will be sigma y we can find out y bar because we have all five values available so let us first find out y bar 6 plus 5 9 plus 9 20 plus 8 28 plus 2 30 why bar sigma bar or now this relationship is there sigma y equals to 30 therefore sigma x equals to 30 okay now what here in this case 7 plus 4 11 plus 8 19 plus 2 25 plus question mark will be sigma x that means 25 plus question mark equals to 30 therefore the question mark is equivalent to 30 minus 25 so the question mark says that the fifth missing value is 5 so x is now 7 4 8 6 and 5 and sigma x is also 30 Now it is upon us which formula should we use? We can use the formula having deviations taken from mean as well as we can use the values directly. That is the formula with n sigma x y into sigma x minus sigma x into sigma y. We can take the summations of all five columns, including these two columns. Let us take that where. X Y six into seven forty two five into four twenty nine into eight seventy two eight into six forty eight and two into five ten. What will be the summation? Sixty two sixty four one thirty four one seventy four one eighty two one ninety two. Sigma X Y X square X square forty nine sixteen sixty four thirty six and twenty five. These three are one twenty five plus. 16 141 9 150 9 150 150 total will be 190 sigma x square and the the last is sigma y square so we need the column of y square squared values of y 6 square 36 5 square 25 9 square 81 8 square 64 and 2 square 4 64 plus 36 100 125 126 206 210 sigma y square but in this case we have no other way to find whether these summations are correct or not so be careful at the time of multiplication as well as squaring the values and finding the summations let's find out the two coefficients of regression and then only we can prove the relationship so coefficient of regression of y on x first And sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y. See the numerator is same, which is in case of calculation of coefficient of correlation upon independent independent variable. And sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square. So substitution of value says that 
5 into 192 minus 30 into 30 upon <coughs> n5 sigma x square 190 minus 30 square. So it will be 960 minus 900 upon 950 minus 900. So it will be 60 upon 50. So b by x comes to positive 1.2. Now it is turn off coefficient of regression of x on y, taking x as independent uh, dependent variable, b x y, n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y upon independent variable y, n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square. Numerator is same 5 into 192 minus 30 into 30. But the denominator is now this time y n5 sigma y square is 210 minus 30 square. So it will be 960 minus 900 upon uh, 1050 minus 900. So it is 60 upon 150. That means b x y comes to 0.4. This is also positive. That means, so far as the type of relationship is concerned, there is no error. Numerator is also same. Now let us first find out coefficient of correlation. This is sign of rho, RHO rho. But most of the times in school as well as colleges, teachers as well as students recognize it as R. There is no problem, whatever the name is. But sign is something like this n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon under root n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into under root n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square that is 5 into 192 minus 30 into 30 <coughs> upon under root 5 into 190 minus 30 square into 5 into 210 minus 30 the whole square. So we can directly take the values from these calculations also. 960 minus 900 upon under root 950 minus 900 into under root 1050 minus 900. So ultimately it is 60 upon under root 50 into under root 150. So it is 60 upon Seven, under root 7500 so it is 60 upon what is the square root of 7500 the square root of 7500 is yes 7500 and the square root comes to 86.6025 86.6 also can be taken or 603 can be taken so, the coefficient of correlation is 0.693. Let us calculate and verify. 60 divided by 86.603. So, it comes to 0.6928. That means 0 0.693. See, this is also positive. The sign of all the three coefficients must be same. And it is... But now we need to prove that the coefficient of correlation is geometric mean of the coefficients of regression. What do we mean by geometric mean? The square root of A into B is geometric mean of A and B. The cube root of A into B into C is the geometric mean of A, B and C. That means the, if the nth root of the product of A values is taken, the result is geometric mean. That means... Coefficient of correlation is square root of BYX into BXY. That means under root 1.2 into 0.4. That means under root 0.48. So the coefficient of correlation is plus or minus 0.693. Because square root of 0.48 is also 0.693 approximately. Now 
if the coefficients of regression are positive the coefficient of correlation must be positive so the coefficient comes 2.693 positive and see the answer of coefficient of correlation is similar through both the ways this is the calculation via the root taking coefficient of correlation as geometric mean of the coefficients of regression and this is by formula the answer is same that means we can conclude that the coefficient of correlation is the geometric mean of the coefficients of regression that's it thank you very much